What's up, Twitter people? We're going to follow up again on what Michael just talked about on television, and that was Stephen Brault and his release point and why it's so wide. Why is it so advantageous for Stephen? You know, first you have to go back and think about what he did in 2020 that he's done much better than he has in 2019, 2018. It was the consistency. The athletic ability started to creep in, the confidence came, then the conviction. And Robbie, what I'm talking about is your right-handed hitter is he's releasing from over here where most guys are somewhere in here. So you're seeing it come in almost pretty straight. They have typical vertical horizontal move movement that's very similar to MLB. Now, Brault releases it way out here. So the ball's coming in at an angle and that horizontal movement because of that two seamer and that four seamer run away from you. So you're trying to cover a ball you think is going to be here and it runs away from you up or it may dart in and it's an angle you're not used to that. So that deviation creates a lot of problems for hitters. And especially if you think about it from the left side, it's released almost behind them. And that's probably why he just hit Ruiz just in that last inning. So a lot of lefties in major league baseball, is that the case for most of them? Yeah, no, not by any means. I mean, you're talking about Chris Sale. You're talking about guys that have that quarter release point. And when Brault gets it all going together, it's timed well, and he's able to get it out front. It's game, set, match. It's almost unhittable. If you look back to his last year's numbers, below 200, really no hard hit balls, no home runs, knock on wood. You hope it happens again. Michael McHenry, our resident expert. <laughs>